In all of my years playing Phantom Forces, I don't think I've ever been more excited for an update. And I can genuinely say the test place is more fun than the main game right now. Because the devs are cooking up some gas. Like if they walked in right now and told me to design the perfect update, I literally would have done this. So there are four major things they are changing with this update. And the first one, and what I think is the most important, is they are totally improving the movement system, like in every way. So essentially what they did, is they decrease the gravity so you fall slower. You jump about the same height normally, your super jumps are a bit higher, but most importantly you fall a little slower. Now it's not to an unrealistic degree at all. In fact, it feels phenomenal, everything feels so smooth with it. Now the second thing they added is wall running. Now it's not crazy or anything. When I first heard about it, I was like, dude, what the hell? Why are they adding this to Phantom Forces? It doesn't fit with the game. But the way they've added it takes a lot of skill to actually get it right, and, and it's not crazy unrealistically long or anything, and I think it totally fits with the game. And in fact, it actually takes quite a lot of skill to get it right. Like you have to like position your camera correctly. So pretty much you jump, press C when you're touching a wall, and then depending on the angle of your camera is how long you're gonna go for. Now you can actually touch it very shortly and get a speed boost, which I think is awesome because that pretty much just helps with your traversal. It makes your traversal a lot more fun than just M sliding the whole time, which again, if you combine this with M slides, movement is just gonna be fun even when you're not in combat. And there's probably so many ways that you can just get around the map even faster than ever before, just with a little bit of skill. And don't get me wrong, like, it's not super hard. Like, I think it's gonna benefit everybody and not just the good players. Overall, I think this is a phenomenal change. I thought I was gonna hate it, but I really hope this goes live now. Also, movement in general feels just way smoother. I'm not entirely sure what they did or whether it's just in my own head. Like... Sliding seems to be faster, but it could also just be the animations or the way they've maybe reprogrammed it. I've also noticed that it feels like you can move a lot more in the air, like you can control your velocity and direction a lot more. Now these could both just be entirely in my head because of other changes, but whatever they did, and whether those changes are real or not, it feels fantastic and it works amazing, I love it. And the final movement thing I want to bring up is that they are changing vaulting so that it is now based on distance instead of just time. So previously, every vault would take 0.5 seconds no matter what. But now, if it's not as far of a vault, it's not going to take as long. And if you're using a faster weapon, it's going to be even faster. So that's less vaulting deaths that you're going to get. Especially with the gun sway changes I'll mention later. And to build on this, they're making it so that you can bind another key to jump without vaulting. So you could have space as your normal jump with vaulting, but then you could put like alt where it'll jump without vaulting and you literally will not engage it even if you're right next to a half wall. And I think that's awesome. I love customization like that. And that reminds me, I forgot to mention, they're adding keyboard and controller binds, including alt binds. So you could have two binds per action. Like, I'm telling you, this update has everything, and it's dropping probably this week. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. They buffed jump slides to where they're about the same speed as imp slides, except they're twice as easy as they were before. You just jump, press C, with a really forgiving timing, and then land on the ground and press shift. It's so easy, it's amazing, and I love changes like this because they're making advanced movement accessible to even newer players and pretty much anyone of any skill level. I mean, it already was, it was never that hard, it's just, now it's even easier. And I think that's phenomenal, I think that's what this game needs because again, I consider Phantom Forces a movement shooter, so anything they do to buff the movement and make it more accessible is a phenomenal change in my opinion. And it is a hundred times better than the perspective they've been taking in recent years where they try to nerf movement, like the M-slide nerf like a couple years ago. I'm so glad they're over that phase because I love this new direction they're taking. And from what I've seen, everyone else does too, especially experienced players. Now possibly my favorite change with this update, and probably one of the most impactful, is they're totally changing how gun sway works. It is so much closer to the center of your screen most of the time, and it pulls up way faster, so the barrel is already on target way faster than it was before. So say you vault over like a wall or something, right? Previously, your gun would take forever to pull up, like even if you ADS'd, it would swing across the entirety of your screen. But a lot of the times, especially on certain weapons like snipers, they get centered so much faster and they just, they have so much better handling. It is amazing and I have wanted this for years and I am so glad they're adding it. Now, it still has that skill gap element of yes, you need to know where your gun is pointing during movement techniques, but it is so much more forgiving and honestly feels a lot more 
realistic and just so much better to play with. I think it is the best change. It's a little hard to describe, so hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, hop in test place right now, give it a try, just pay attention to how your gun moves, it is phenomenal. But overall, compared to the main game, movement feels so much faster, so much smoother, just so much better. You could be in the air for so much longer, and fights are just so much more exciting because of it, and I love it. And I'm pretty sure everybody else who's tried it has too. At least, that's the opinions I've seen. Because really, like I said, in my opinion, Phantom Forces is a movement shooter. Like, this game is at its most fun when both parties are using their skill to outmove each other. I find that so much more fun than trying to make the game a more sluggish, just point and click fest. Now, there was literally only one issue I had with the movement changes they were making, and that was that they were increasing the cooldown between slides. And that was annoying as hell, I hated it. Genuinely, if they left that in the game, the update would have been completely mediocre. At least in my opinion, and in a lot of other heavy movement players' opinions, I'm sure. But no joke, they literally fixed it like an hour or two before I was going to make this video. I was going to talk about all the good things in this update, and then that change, which I thought was horrible, and would totally bring down the update, and they literally fixed it, like, no joke, an hour or two before I decided to record this. So I am ecstatic right now, because I love every change this update has made, I don't think there is a bad one in it, and if this goes live the way it is, I will be so happy. Unless I make some bad changes before the update drops, such as adding that longer cooldown back, then I'd be very disappointed, but you know. As of right now, I think this could literally be one of the best Phantom Forces updates, if not the best of all time, if it stays at this quality. Now, the movement changes to me are the most important part, because that's going to affect you every second that you're playing, so I wanted to dedicate a lot of time to that. But there are two more things I want to mention before this video ends, and they are also phenomenal changes. The first one is that they're finally adding damage numbers, so when you hit somebody, you see the exact amount of damage you've done. That is such an amazing quality of life change that makes me so excited, and it's so satisfying to see that 270 headshot when you're shooting someone with the intervention, or that 100 bar Body shot it's so nice man like it makes it so satisfying and the final thing I want to mention and one of the things I'm most excited for is that they are buffing the Mosin and the K14 a ton so these are two snipers that have been not very strong for the past I'd say about a year like they've been all right it's just like they've been overshadowed by other things but they are becoming absolute mid-range demons. They both have super high torso kill ranges, super fast fire rates, and I am so excited to finally see a return to that meta, because I feel like snipers are the best when they are strong, because automatics are stronger than they've ever been, despite being way easier to use. So I've been advocating for like just a mass sniper buff for like a year or two now, because I feel like they've always been underpowered. And now that we're finally starting to see the beginning of that, I'm really excited and I hope this trend continues, because I think that's going to lead to a much more healthy meta when automatics are not just the absolute dominant weapon unless you're really good at the game. So I know it sounds ironic, but I think super powerful snipers is genuinely so healthy for the game, and I am so happy they're going this direction. But that's about all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Subscribe!